Well, Cindy, devastatingly, I've now spoken with two witnesses who say that they believe the woman, one of the women who was out in the water, has died from this attack. And there were two women who were out in the water. The other sustained injuries. Now, that is unconfirmed by police. We're still working with them to get more details. But here's what the witness tells me. She says right here off the coast between those rocks and that first lobster buoy out there, she saw two women women swimming in the water and that is when one woman appeared to be flung up in the air by something from underwater. Now she saw this woman had severe injuries and there were two kayakers who came out and took her from the water to shore where we're told by the U.S. Coast Guard that Harpswell EMS crews responded to those injuries. So here is what we do have confirmed by police. The U.S. Coast Guard confirms they took a call about the possible shark attack off the coast of Harpswell this afternoon around 3.30. Now, they were in the process of sending a small boat to assist in the rescue. Uh, that would, boat would be coming from South Portland, and they were called off when they heard that those two kayakers had helped in transporting those two people from the water back to shore. And according to Cumberland County Dispatch, the 911 call for a water rescue came from this address here, this road here at White Sails Lane on Bailey Island, right off of Harpswell. So again, still a lot of details that we're looking to confirm with police. But what witnesses describe Sydney or Cindy is surely a horrific incident here today on Bailey Island. A witness tells authorities the woman was swimming off the shore of Bailey Island, just north of Portland, when she was attacked by what they believe is a shark. Two kayakers helped get her to shore, but she was declared dead on the beach. Authorities are not yet releasing her name and can't say definitively at this point what killed her. We spoke with New England aquarium expert Nick Whitney. There are a few ways to identify what kind of shark. I, I mean, in, in these waters this time of year, I think generally the assumption is always that it's a white shark unless proven otherwise. Um, that would be the main species that would be fairly close to shore and potentially feeding on large things like seals. Oh my God, look at the size of it. Fatal shark attacks in New England are rare, but this would be the second in two years. 26-year-old Arthur Medici of Revere was killed in 2018 while boogie boarding off Wellfleet. A great white bit through his right leg and he died on the beach. Those couple of attacks aren't enough to make a trend, but it's it does certainly seem to be a trend that we have been seeing more white sharks uh, in New England waters over the past decade or so, and that's almost certainly related to the larger number of seals we've been seeing. This time of year, there's makos and poor beagles, but usually we see them 20 miles out. I actually had one on the line a couple days ago. Um, they're similar, only they're not as long and they're not, the girth isn't as big. We got beside it, it was from the back of our boat past the steering wheel, and it was probably just about as wide as our boat. It had like a big, big nose, white underneath it. I mean, I've seen poor beagles and makos, but I've never seen anything that big.